In this video, I'm going to explain what a bid ask spread is. I'm going to clarify any confusion surrounding the bid ask spread, and I'm going to do that right now. If this is a concept you are still grappling with, I encourage you to watch this entire video. Before I let the intro roll, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below on the right hand side and hit the like button to assist with the YouTube algorithm. Also, follow us on Instagram at AD Forest Academy if you are interested in deepening your understanding of forest. I will see you on the other side of the intro to discuss exactly what a bid axe spread is. See you in a moment. Yeah. Have you ever wondered why there are two prices listed for each tools? Well, let's dive into what they mean. The bid price is the highest price that a buyer is willing to pay for a financial instrument, while the ask price is the lowest price that a seller is willing to accept for the instrument. Simply put, the bid price is the price that buyers are willing to buy at, and ask price is the price that sellers are willing to accept. It's important to take note of this concept as we break it down further. Let's take for example, let's consider the GBP JPY pair with prices of 144.66 and 144.87. To simplify the concept of bid and ask price, let's imagine that you received $1,000 from a friend who just came back from the US. You walk into a bank to exchange it for Nigerian era, and the bank informs you that the current exchange rate is 480 per $1. Therefore, they gave you 480,000 Naira. The next day, you find yourself in an emergency and you need your $1,000 back. So you return to the same bank, but this time, they inform you that their bank rate is 500 Naira per $1. In order to get your $1,000 back, you now have to pay 500,000 Naira. In this situation, 480 represents the big price. Why 500 Naira represents the ax price as you can see the bank has made a profit of twenty thousand naira from you within just 24 hours this example will illustrate how the bid and ax prices work in the foreign exchange market commonly known as forex although the difference between the bid and ask prices in forex is not as significant as the example given it is still important to understand the difference between them is typically measured in points or pips. It's essential to note that the bid price involves buyers and represents the price they are willing to buy at, while the ask price involves sellers and represents the price they are willing to sell at. When you place a buy order in forex, it will be activated using the ask price. Conversely, when you place a sell order, it will be activated using the bid price. To summarize, the bid price is the price at which buyers are willing to buy, while the ask price is the price at which sellers are willing to sell. In forex trading, you buy from the market and sell to the market. Now, let's move on to the concept of a spread. The spread is the difference between the bid and ask prices. In the previous example, the spread was 500 Naira minus 480 Naira is equal to 20 Naira, which represents the bank's profit. The spread is how no commissions brokers make their money. Instead of charging a separate fee for making a trade, the cost is built into the buy and sell prices of the currency pair you want to trade. From a business standpoint, this makes sense for brokers as they provide a service and need to make money somehow. They make money by selling the currency to you for more than they pay to buy it and buying the currency from you for less than they will receive when they sell it. It's similar to selling your old iPhone to a store that buys used iPhones. For the store to make a profit, it needs to buy your iPhone at a price lower than the price it will sell it for. The difference between the buying and selling is the spread. If it can sell the iPhone for $500, then if it wants to make any money, the most it can buy from you is $499. That difference of $1 is the spread. When a broker claims zero commissions or no commission, it can be misleading because why there is no separate commission fee 
you still pay a commission. It's just built into the bid and ask spread. The spread is usually measured in pips, which stands for percentage in point. I made a video on what a pip is and how to calculate pips on my other video. If you have not watched it, you can go and check it out after watching this video. I will leave a link above this video. So let's proceed. For example, in this GPP USD pair with prices of 1.3525 and 1.3527, the spread is 2 pips. Similarly, in the Euro JPY pair with prices of 126.72 and 126.73, the spread is 1 pip. It is important to note that the spread can vary between trading sessions. When volatility is high and many markets are open at the same time, the spread tends to be smaller. This is an added advantage of trading when many markets are open. I hope this explanation has helped you understand the concept of bid and ask spread and how it relates to forest trading. In case you were struggling with this concept, unsure, or if you are a new trader entering the forest market and found this lesson beneficial, I hope it provided value to you. Join me in the next lesson where we will delve into forms of trading orders. This will be the focus of our upcoming video and I'm excited to have you join us. Until then, take care and see you in the next lesson. Thank you.